UNH football coach Sean McDonald was at Ballard's Restaurant in Durham this past Monday for the Coaches Show with host Mike Murphy to break down a week of college football. Senior defensive tackle Steve Young joined Coach McDonald to discuss the Wildcats' homecoming game this Saturday at noon against Richmond. Fans can catch the show every Monday at 7 p.m. all season long on the Wildcat Sports Radio Network from Learfield Sports. Next week, the show will take place at Kelly's Row in Dover and will be back in Durham on October 25th. Gumstock Mountain Resort wants to know what the goals are for defeating the Richmond Spike. Well, the goals, <laughs> poor people from Gumstock probably think this is the same story every week, but the first things first, you got to take care of the football. And... Um, <laughs> You know, last week we talked about stopping a run first, but again, it goes back, you know, we don't turn the ball over last week. We win the football game, my belief, you know, so. And, it, and it's not just one person, it's all of us. You know, you got to protect the quarterback. I think we did that better. Got to secure it when you run. One of our guys drop one on the ground. Got to throw it to the right guys. Got to make the right read. So holding the ball onto the ball will give us more opportunities to score what we need to do. Second thing we got to do is, is get, go back and we got we to gotta stop a run against a team that likes to run, you know, and then, uh, I think the third thing, and this is the key, we got to play cleaner, play cleaner on special teams in, in, in some key situations. Can't afford to have any kicks blocked. We've got to cover. You know, we covered pretty well on, 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 on two of the punts. One of them, they got a good return. We covered pretty well on three out of the four kickoffs. One of them, got a pretty good return, set up their drive for the winning score. You know, <clears throat> we've got to make sure our kids understand keeping the ball on the inside shoulder on all our coverages and, and do the little things well on the special teams in order to be successful. We get ready for Richmond now. Noon, Saturday, homecoming. Uh, the atmosphere of homecoming we've described. If fans haven't gotten their tickets, we advise you, go to unhwildcats.com, get the tickets. You might not even make it to the field. You'll be tailgating. It doesn't matter. There are thousands and thousands of people who want to be there. What is the event like from a player's perspective, Steve? Well, you know, it, it's just great to come out to our field and see that, you know, the stadium is usually packed on homecoming. And like Coach said, the weather has been you know, amazing, and last year at uh, playing Villanova was incredible, you know, to, to win the way we did and just the, the amount of people that were there and the excitement. I mean, it's, uh, you know, UNH football is just getting bigger and bigger, it seems like, every year. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun when you have all those people behind. Some events out there, you know, cook, cooking contest, you know, the best of all those type of things. I think our recreation department's done an unbelievable job with uh, the road race and, and, and having some other events around. And there's other great games on the campus on the weekend, so... It's been a great weekend for people to come back. We've been blessed with great weather, you know, uh, the last couple of years. Knock on wood, that happens again. But the big thing is, you know, we're blessed with having good football teams come in and play. You know, we've had JMU, we've had William and Mary, we've had uh, a couple other teams come in that have been really good, really good. And then last year, Villanova. You know, so I mean, when you have great teams coming in, highly ranked teams, and you're playing well, it's a great opportunity to see great football and have a great, great time.